No, this isn't CGI. It's also not a weird genetic experiment. Don't get any ideas, FBI. Or some kind of mutant monster. This is a scorpion fly. And they're supposed to look like this. But with that freaky red stinger and those cold, dark eyes, is it dangerous? Let's take a closer look and find out. The world of insects is full of weird looking mini monstrosities. And you'd be surprised how many of them are living within feet of you right now. I'm Spencer Hoffman, and I spend a lot of time studying this secret world that runs alongside ours, and among my favorite parts of it are the weirdest and wildest insects. Today, I'm in northern Florida on the hunt for venomous reptiles and carnivorous plants. But while exploring some swampy habitat, I saw an unmistakable alien-looking creature flitting from plant to plant. And this is one creature I've been requested to cover for a long time now. Check this out. That is a very, very special insect. One I've been looking for for a really long time and one I bet you've never heard of. What I've got right here is a scorpion fly. I'm gonna grab him really quick before he escapes so we can take a closer look. Look at that. This is not only a species of insect I've never seen before, but an entire order. What I've got right here is a scorpion fly and a really crazy looking one. See those colors? That would be aposematic coloration, but question is, are these things actually dangerous? I think I'm gonna take it out and find out for myself. Hi, buddy. Hi. Look at that right there. Oh, he's trying to grab me, but, but look at that. It looks like he has a stinger, but it actually isn't used for stinging. And you notice I keep saying he. I can actually tell that this insect is a male because only the males have these crazy looking, scorpion looking tails on the back and it's actually used for mating. The scorpion fly, as you can already see, is not actually a scorpion, but it's not a fly either. They're in their own order of insects and evolutionarily, they're more closely related to like butterflies and fleas than true flies. And it's actually thought that these guys or one of their ancestors are a missing link in the evolution of modern day butterflies and moths, which is kind of crazy because this thing looks almost more like a wasp or like a leaf hopper. Really, this insect kind of looks like a bunch of random odds and ends of insect parts were sort of just hodgepodge into one creature. They're really, really strange. And this one is especially interesting looking. Look at that coloration there. That bright red on jet black would be a form of aposomatic coloration, but no scorpion flies are dangerous to people. This is some kind of mimicry, and I guess he's probably trying to mimic some of the different ants and wasps that we get in this part of Florida here. Generally speaking, if you're a predator in this kind of environment, you see those bright colors, you're probably just gonna be safe and, you know, leave it alone because stings are no fun. So if it's not dangerous to people, you're probably expensive. Well, what what do they do? What is the purpose of this exceptionally weird insect? And I'm glad you asked that because they're actually really, really important. These insects are scavengers. They're eating all kinds of dead, decaying things, particularly animal matter. And what's crazy is scorpion flies are really important to like murder investigations because as scavengers, they're oftentimes one of the first insects to show up when a body is decaying. So if a, if a crime scene investigator is looking at a body and they see scorpion fly larvae on it, they can tell that it's a recent kill due to how fast these scorpion flies can actually find rotting corpses. Kind of morbid, but kind of crazy. This particular species right here is actually the mourning scorpion fly, like you're mourning a dead person. So that's uh, kind of relevant to this guy's biology, but have a look at that insect. They look really, really crazy, almost like the, uh, the Imperial spy from Star Wars or like an elite version of him that works for the emperor specifically. I can already hear Palpatine being like, do what must be done. Cause like, I mean, he looks like he'd be like in the Imperial Guard or something. That crazy jet black on red coloration. Absolutely marvelous insect. I cannot be any more excited than, than I am right now. Just to find, finally, after years of doing this channel, finally getting a scorpion fly up close and personal. Hi buddy, you are weird. And that is why we absolutely love him. Finding unusual and weird insects like this is probably one of the most exciting things about exploring the natural world. And while the scorpion fly is definitely 
one of the weirdest ones. It's not the only really unusual insect that might turn up in your yard. If you want to see what is probably the strangest cricket in the world, check out this video right here, where my buddy Jack and I stumbled upon crazy ant crickets down in Texas. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.